Party, Party guy. guy. I like your glasses. <laughs> Duh. Did my party goggles. Ah, on your way to a party. Always, darling. Every place is party place when I have my goggles on. And I always have my goggles on. Oh, wow. Even here, now. We party on the train. Aw, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> well, hello there. Ah, yeah. Where are you off to? I was on my way to San Fran Can sign Cisco, obviously. <laughs> but then we get stuck here. This place is terrifying. How so? Well, for a start, there's not a single screaming beast in the sky. Nobody is being followed by shadowmen, and nothing is on fire. Nothing! Maybe. You're not the girl for me. Wow. Rude. <laughs> How could you? Ah, a dark side portal. <laughs> It appears we found our number one suspect for all these strange goings on. You have the right to remain silent when questions. Anything you d say or do may. Dooley, what are you doing? Reading it, it's rights. And how exactly are you intending to arrest it? With my handcuffs, obviously. Top for marks for enthusiasm, Dooley. We're walking through. <laughs> Hello! Looks like the purple rift has an accomplice. I'm going to need a second pair of handcuffs. Hmm. You look familiar. Does the fire recognize the flame? Does the darkness recognize the shadow? Does the storm recognize the... The, uh, the wind? Rain? Damn it, man. Plus my train of thought. Train, you say? You lost a whole <laughs> train! <laughs> we are all agents of the never-ending hunt. Servants of the crawling death void. Ministers of the world's cruelty. Well, I'm happy you're doing okay for yourself. Thanks. It's been a lot of hard work and late nights at the office. Any idea what's been going on? Interlopers. Fiends. Fleshy monstrosities. Things that should not have come to pass. Tracks of chaos intertwine. So, not much of an idea right now, then. No. So, receding hairline, how that, how's that treating you? The end comes for us all! Entropy is a cruel mistress! Yeah, let's hope for some growing up in this weird hole. Goodbye. I'd best be going. Uh, we had all best be going to the places we would best be at. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the better version of me. Finally, somebody in authority. Oh, hey. Hey! <laughs> hey! Sorry, guy, but you don't know any more than the rest of us. Hi, detective, what's going on? Roxo, why are you here? Because I used the train. Getting the train home from college, then we got diverted to wherever this is. Well, we're on the case now, so get comfortable. He means... No, yeah, I get it. Let me know if I can help at all. Will do. Hello? Do that do. I wonder if he even knows what's going on. Stay back, monster! Whoa, Jeez. calm down. Sorry, I thought you were him. Him? The intense man in the tunnel who threatens to arrest and or eat anyone who gets off the train. Jeez. Arrest or eat? Yep, and I'm not sure who chooses. <laughs> I would like to get arrested. I would like to get <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? You're not, you're really not him. I, I don't really know what happened. We left the last station on time. Then some weird lights flashed and now we're here. Wherever here is. Who is no. this man you keep talking about? He, he looks a bit like you. Only not. Not at all now that I see you. Properly see you. He stalks about outside this train sniffing for clues and snarling when he sees us. Has he hurt anyone so far? Thankfully no. <laughs> he seems more menacing than dangerous. Goodbye. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Sorry about the mix-up earlier. Waster. Hey, dude. Tommy. We've been on this train for ages. What's going on? I'm afraid. Because I keep seeing floating green people. I'm not at liberty. I think I indulged a little too much this morning. You probably shouldn't tell me that. I'm an officer of the law. Far out, dude. Never mind. <laughs> Warning seven. If you find yourself in a parallel dimension, please stay in the carriage. An oddly useful warning. I'm so glad we put this warning in this train. Mm hmm I should probably stay with these people. Make sure they're okay. 
You're tired from walking through the tunnels, aren't you? Stop using your Sherlock powers on me. Ghost cop. Now then. Now then, now then. You look like one of those living folk we got plotting about the place right now. Officer Dooley? Name's Coley. Chief of the Brightside Division. Brightside? Division. Specialists. Specialists. <laughs> Do threats from your neck of the woods so as to speak. My neck of the woods? Your neck. No! Another world that which from whence you came, son. I surmise from your appearance that you are a detective. I'll bet one down on his luck. Hey! Yeah, I presume that being the case, you've crossed over to investigate your world's version of a situation. I am. Can you help? No, son. I cannot. This isn't your jurisdiction. You should leave this to us professionals. To care of our train back in your own world. Shouldn't you look into that? Jurisdiction, son. Seems like a concept beyond a dangerous maverick such as yourself. Maybe I should slap you behind bars. Um, maybe I should walk away. <laughs> Sing me a song, buddy. What? You're the busker, not me. That's how buskers work here, you tourist. You tourist. Wow. Stairs. Heck yeah. Mold. A dark patch of fuzzy mold. I think it's looking at me. I received you fuzzy mold. Yeah, me. Why did I pick it up? Because now you have a beard. I can go outside? Wow. Come get me from the station, he said. <laughs> Routine, he said. Ass. <laughs> Burning barrel. Ah, him. I'm on fire. What on earth? Haha, I'm a burning trash barrel. I'm meant to be on fire, you gonk. No. Don't look on your face. Brilliant. I'm I'm not even He's like I quit. This is the day I quit. <laughs> Debris. <laughs> Most of the dark side city appears to be in ruin. But I want to talk to Debris. <laughs> <laughs> Just the eyes, hello oh. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Trains do not run on time, they run on fuel. Trains will also be late. No. Some things are universal, I suppose. Costume shop. Stoom shop. The stoom shop. Given how little I know about this place works, they should sell costumes or turn you into one. Hmm. Daily Chronicle. What horrors could possibly make the news here? Mayor points off camera. <laughs> <gasps> no. Hello. An invisible person. Welcome, sir. It's our, that is to say, me and I's pleasure to welcome you to Costume Shop. So that is the name. Your broken side wasn't very clear. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. My old fella said. And if it is broken, maybe you don't fix it anyway, he dad. Very practical man he was. How can I aid you, sir? Trying to intimidate your direct superior at work. Hoping to wow a six-armed lover. I'm tired of looking like a hobo. Hey! That's our motto. Whatever your shame, spiders got you covered. Well then. The snarky teenage wizard is welcome anywhere. Well, not so much as welcomed as he'll turn up and then he'll be there and it's almost as much hassle to get rid of him as it is just to leave him be. That's my usual party vibe anyway, so two thumbs up for me. <laughs> yeah. Biker outfit. Be a badass biker. Bike not included. Are you still a biker without a bike? Be a badass walker. Assuming your ass is bad, either in the dangerous <laughs> sense or the missing a buttock way, your call. <laughs> this is definitely not a dually problem. <laughs> Did you write these adverse yourself? No, sir. Came that way, sir. In good words, ain't they, sir? Mm-hmm. Pirate outfit. Amaze your friends, surprise your enemies. Confuse real pirates with this inefficient pirate ensemble. Comes with a free press gang. <laughs> if you look like this man, this might be a mirror. Also, if you may be wanted by the police for questioning. Wow. Well, uh, that is a very nondescript man. Punk wig. <laughs> Dressed like a punk or a road warrior from the future. Or uh, you could wear this and be, uh, I don't know, a carrot. Well, I'm convinced. It's full of ones and zeros. How would anyone wear these? Says, sir. While wearing a brown bin bag. Come on, guys. This is a nice coat. Hey, hey, yo, whoa. It's a nice coat. It's a nice coat. 
And they say the customer is always right. Ah. Uh, well, this one looks normal enough to me. Normal, sir? Why, that's the very pillar Summers are built on, sir. A friend and mentor to those in need. A shoulder to cry on a person who will live in a wood hut with no air conditioning. <laughs> the legendary camp counselor, sir. Nobody would buy that as a camp counselor. No, but they do, sir. It's a mustache, sir. Shows them to be rugged wildermen. Suited for the rough and tumble life of a camp counselor. Not for timid folk like you and I, sir. No, sir, not for shop vendors and coat warmers. No. Indecipherable blocks coming soon to a theater near you. Tetris. <laughs> yep. Sir, I'll ask you mighty nice <laughs> not but once. Keep your sausage fingers from my money box. <laughs> <laughs> he asked me twice. Uh. <laughs> ah.